So why don't you get ahead in network marketing? Have you heard of things called paradigms programming? I'm sure you have, because if you do network marketing, you've been told, read this book, read this book, read this book, read this book, read this book. You're also told an awful lot about the industry. You're going to experience nine out of 10 people are going to say no to you. Um, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. You're going to build your team and then it's going to fall apart again. So many things that you're told before you even get started. I mean, you wouldn't join a job, would you, whenever you were told that most people are going to hate you. And so we go into it with that expectation. And guess what we have? You see, we've got 2% is our conscious mind and 98% is subconscious. And we've just been programmed before we've even done the thing. How would you like 12 lessons that would literally take you through? Let me tell you the paradigms that I've experienced, yeah? So whenever your first one is all about, you know, your goals and, you know, you think, oh, I'll just get to the next level. And it's so hard to get to the next level. You just want to get to there. But it's about having the dream and the vision. And I'm sure that your dream and vision was never just to be the top level of a network marketing company. You have a whole life and a whole reason as to why you're doing that. And sometimes we don't work towards that and we don't be it on a daily basis. And so what happened to me was, was that I did do that big top work, but then my ego got in the way going, why am I not there? I'm doing the work. You know, I did 12,000 messages one year and literally 500 face-to-face -face calls, signed up 40 people, only to end up with four people. And then at that time, because I just went pew, pew, like that, because I had such a high, I had such a low. It doesn't have to be that way. I actually ended up losing everything, by the way. And so, yes, house, car, kids had to go somewhere else, um, horses, cats, dogs, name it. And so it... What it, when I learned about this stuff, because I ended up joining Bob Proctor and working with him as one of his consultants and understanding paradigms and understanding the programming. You see, the next lesson is all about then, you know, you know, the knowing doing gap. You know what to do, but you're not doing it. Why is that? You see, you're really comfortable. Maybe you're a CEO in a major firm and then you come along. Why would I do Harbaugh? I mean, I had that before with somebody who was a brilliant leader in her own company, but then couldn't talk about Harbaugh. I mean, why is that? Why is that? And so it's because when you get comfortable where you are, you don't see paradigms, you don't see programming because you're comfortable and this suits you and it's all lovely, but something's missing. You don't know what it is. And you get things happening to you and you go up and down, but it's not too bad. You can settle with it. But as soon as you move out, knowing that there's something more to have, you become this high private eye, don't you? And all of a sudden you shrink down. Well, that is the level of your vibration. That is the level of your energy. It's just you didn't recognize it while you were in this other job because you were comfortable in that little box that you put yourself in. It was comfortable, but now you're shifting boxes. And this is where your programming starts to kick off. And so that I know how to get rid of that. I know how to sort that because you have to shift a paradigm. You'll be able to grow so far. It's like a bungee rope, let you go so far. And then ping, falls back. And then you have to try again. And it's just so exhausting, isn't it? I know how you feel. So exhausting. So then we're not even clear on who we are. We're not even clear on, on where we're going. We're not really clear because we're told duplicate, 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 duplicate. But we're not in alignment with anything that we're doing. And how do we get into alignment? Well, we teach you that as well. And then... The trick to staying in charge no matter what. Well, you get a no and you're off. Like it affects your big style. Like imagine if you go into a shopping center and a, you know an assistant comes up to you and says, you know, can I help you? And you say no. Like they didn't run into the corner and cry, did they? No, they didn't. And so that's what we're dealing with here is that we sort of like the paradigms have us in fear. We didn't realize that we were actually on that level anyway. But because this network marketing company is the cause you seem it seems to be the cause of your fear that you blame them it's something to do with them it's something that's going on inside of you so we can teach you the trick to staying in charge no matter what no i don't hear no's anymore don't hear them and so who are you who are you at the top leader of your company 
I mean, is it really what you want? Because sometimes when I speak with people, when we do level one, you know, about goals, and then I says, well, can you imagine doing that? When she sat there and she looked and it was actually about a week later, she came back and she said, I don't want to do that. That's not where I am. But you think she thought she did. She thought she did. But that's not where she wanted to be. That scared her. And it, she didn't have the desire to do it anyway. She just didn't have the desire. There was other things that she found out she wanted to do through this process. And then you're dealing with all your beliefs. Whose are those beliefs anyway? But here's the thing, you're not even in praxis. What's practice? It's in alignment with your belief and your behavior. So you don't believe this person's going to say yes to you, but you ask them anyway. And so it's complete misalignment. You were expecting them to say no, and they said no, and then you get all upset about it. <laughs> it's so funny. And then your attitude, you think, yes, I've got a positive mental, and I know all of you have got a positive mental attitude. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Absolutely no doubt about that. But you realize that your attitude is a composite of your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. It's like a cake. It's like I can't say to bake a chocolate cake without the chocolate. All three have got to be in alignment. That's a deeper, deeper, deeper lesson than you can ever know. It still keeps coming back to me. And when I realize, oh my goodness, I'm not in alignment and I know why. You know, the last few lessons are all about being a leader. But the thing is, is that I'm not asking you to be a leader in your network marketing company. I'm just asking you to be a leader of your own emotions and your own thoughts. Because if you can't meet that, how are you going to lead anybody into your company? How are you going to lead anybody to follow you? They're not following the company, believe it or not. They're following you. And I remember being told over and over again, you're a leader, Sheena, you're a leader. And I was thinking, who are you talking to? I'm just doing what I like doing. But I didn't realize. I was actually acting like a leader because I was in tune with myself, with what I was doing. But then when I joined Network Marketing, I completely went out of tune with myself. I'd forgotten who I was. And so that's what the last few lessons are. It's all about you becoming your leader of you. Never mind a team. You got to lead yourself first. Then other people will follow. But first, we've got to become an intelligent follow follower. And that doesn't mean duplicating what your upline says. It's not funny that I'm going to say that. It doesn't mean duplication. You cannot duplicate somebody else's success. Does that come as a surprise to you? Or does that go, oh, thank goodness, I've been trying to copy this person, that person, the other person, read this book, read that book, read the other book. You see, there's 10 million things that made you who you are today. In fact, it's 13.8 billion years that got you to watch this video right here, right now. How can you copy what somebody else does? You see, you can copy their actions, but you can't copy their attitude because that's a mixture of their thoughts, their feelings, and their behaviors. You can't copy their belief system. You can't copy their energy. I know the cause of the root cause of your results, and it is you, but who are you? And when you know who you are, then you find peace and harmony. And when you find peace and harmony, you then are clear minded to be able to choose a path forward that is right for you. Not because somebody else read that book. It's not the 10,000 books that you're told to read. It's doing one thing 10,000 times. That's what mastery is. So listen, I'm doing a webinar. Well, actually it's more than a webinar. It's a five day masterclass. And it's gonna take you through 95% mindset, 5% strategy. Because I know that we focus on strategy, strategy, strategy. And yes, and I know network marketing, it's always focusing on personal development. Can I tell you something? Can I let you off the hook? You don't have to be personally developed. 
it's just a matter of taking the crap away from yourself and allowing you to shine, recognizing how awesome you are. That's it. Then your mind is clear because you're not beating yourself up. You'll hear my story that week as well, that constant beating myself up. Guess what? How's that working out for you? See, what I realized was you have to earn your consciousness. You have to earn, earn it in your consciousness. And when you do that, the rest is easy. But what we try to do is earn it on the physical plane when our consciousness is actually saying, well, I'm not worthy. Just as a matter of like somebody saying to me, you know, well, this law of attraction, Sheena, doesn't work because I play the lottery every week. I'm doing it. I think I want it. I feel I want it. And I take the behavior, so I'm doing it. And I'm like, you don't want to win the lottery. Think about it. When she sat there thinking about it, she went, I don't. And I came all these reasons. I mean, it's just a programming. She can have the lottery if she wants. But her programming was so deep rooted, she couldn't even see it herself. So if you want to get ahead in network marketing or anything, doesn't matter. <laughs> I love it when Bob Proctor says, so you tell me what you want. And I'll show you how to get it. But that's what I want you to do here. By coming and watching me for five days, you've got a chance to ask any question you want. So if you get on the Zoom link up there, that Zoom link means is if you're on that, and there's only so many spaces, is that we're going to have a question and answer session afterwards. So you can ask me direct questions relating directly to you. Stop trying to do what everybody else does. Start listening to your authentic self. She, he, will take you to where you want to be. The answer is not in the next book. The answer is in here. And I'd love to show you how. Are you joining me? Click on the link. <laughs> and I'll see you starting the week of the 22nd of March. See you then. Bye-bye.